Hey everybody, the Bonga's back. Welcome to part 34 of Let's Play Chrono Trigger, brought to you by MuchGames.ca. Okay, I think now's a good time for us to head over to Ozzy's Fort, and I decided to put Magus in my party just because. Alright, I think I might want to make another switch to my party. I'm going to take Ayla out and put in Robo for the time being. Come on in! This is the great Ozzy's place! B what the... Whoa! You, you're the Great Magus! You're doing well, Ozzy. The nerve! Deserting your fellow mystics to serve these humans? You're a traitor! You're not our king! Why did you desert us? Um, uh, because he wanted to go to the winning team? That would make a lot of sense. You pesky low-down good-for-nothings! Ooh, I'll have you begging for mercy! Flee! Ah, oh, we meet again. You sent for me? Well, if it isn't Sir Magus, who'd you bribe to get in here? Nothing, I just walked through the front door. Traitors like you deserve a beating. Oh, great Ozzy, stand back and let me take care of these Cretans. I'm counting on you, Flea. Get ready for a slapping good time, get it? I fail to see the joke. Probably because there is none. Well, maybe I'm fighting one, but that's besides the point. Really, this boss is super easy. All you have to do is just use physical attacks until he gives up. And besides, it's not like he does a lot of damage. Let's try this Uzi Punch. That was pretty cool. It got me the win. Oh, just you wait. We'll teach you a lesson. No, you won't. Alright, let's just keep going. Howdy! You're nothing but common thieves! Anyone who tries to steal my treasure is looking for a very cruel death. To these two. And away we go! Uh, something tells me you never thought this through. They're all like, uh, okay? Oz Ozzy's in a pickle! Outta here! Why doesn't he just try to fight us himself? I mean, he's got that barrier move. Like, seriously. You still haven't given up? Well, how about a good thrashing? Slash! Like, seriously, he could just use the barrier attack, he wouldn't be able to hurt him. But why does he wait till he's near a pit? You rang? Slash! Don't let me down! At first, I really didn't want to slice and dice you, but now it sounds kind of fun. Ready? I, I don't get it. Why, for some reason, did you not want to slice and dice us? You probably remember the last time we fought? That might be the only logical reason. I mean, just like Flea, you don't only need to do physical moves. And look at that, that was another easy win. Ouch! Seriously, I mean, this is all he got. Ooh, treasure. Come on, sweethearts. Does he really think we're just gonna go for the treasure with that blade coming down? Don't you want the treasure box? Probably filled with goodies. Found the treasure! But doesn't see a guillotine blade? Seriously? Oz... Oz, he's stumped! Outta here! Okay, so this must be Ozzy's treasure, and it's a full ether. Actually, this is his treasure, right here! First, there's a magic tab. That's gonna be great news for us. 
Who should I give it to, though? I'll probably give it to Magus. And there, we'll take these boxes. A Gloom Cape, a Gloom Helm, and a Doom Sickle. Doom Sickle probably sounds like the uh, worst kind of ice cream treat ever. Attack up when Ally falls? So, whenever you have people lose, Magus gets stronger? Protect status. Just extra defense. Alright, so. I think now would be a good time to actually switch party members. Who do I take out, though? I should probably take out Magus, because he's not going to serve us too well. And just remember that the line of dialogue gets a bit different if Magus is in your party or not. I'm going to go with Chrono, Ayla, and Robo for this. Now before we go any further, it would be a good idea to actually switch up your equipment. In this case, we're going to go with the red mail. And then I'm going to have Ayla use the, uh, the red vest. For this, you want to make sure you have some equipment that can absorb or nullify fire attacks. You're going to find out why soon enough. I don't even know why I just put that on Robo permanently. That would have been so much better. Alright, I think we're good to go. Arbo Helm, yeah, we'll keep it like that. Uh, am I good either way? I should be. Speed Belt, I don't think really needs to be on Robo, even though his speed's going to take a very massive hit. Where's that Silver Stud, anyway? Oh yeah, I put it on Marley, of course. Well, let's put it on someone else. I'm going to put it on Robo, so we can use that Uzi Punch more. Alright, I think we're good to go. Let's move on. Heh <laughs> not so fast, friends. I'm not going to make it that easy for you. Ozzy Pants! Flea Vest! Slasher 2! These unique items make us invincible! Well, not really, they're still very mortal. But do not attack Ozzy with these two around, because if you do, you'll be countered every single time. They will use their own triple tech on you. So this is why I took Ayla with me, just to steal these items. And I believe that whenever these two are around, whenever you hit Slash at all, that Flea and Slash will use their own double tech, or dual tech. And this will happen every single time you hit Slash. But this is not a bad thing on, say, Chrono or Ayla, because they absorb fire attacks. They will get healed by this move. Ayla also has a fire attack. Oh, apparently it's not fire. Okay, now we can just focus on Slash. How much damage is Robo going to take? Oh, 33! Jeez, that's pretty good. Good thing I put the ruby armor on him. By having this kind of setup, it's very ideal. Like, if somebody needs to heal, just do that! Well, except for Robo, because, I mean, he's still going to take damage regardless. Oh, I'll try to get the... the vest. Oh, but that still heals her. Good. I don't need to worry about Slash anymore. We can just try to beat him. But I would like to get that Flea Vest. So hopefully Eli gets another shot at it. Okay, Slash is down. Another chance for the Flea Vest. There, we got it. And you had to do it fast, otherwise, you know, like, uh, Flea would run away when Slash is down. Now we can try to use the, try to steal the Aussie Pants. Ah, oh, damn. Okay, let's try that again. I don't want to attack Ozzy. I'm gonna wait till I get the Aussie Pants, then we go to town on him. There we go. Now we got that piece of equipment, which actually gives you very, very good defense, and believe it or not, it's a helmet. The bad news is, you would get sapped and confused, even if you're wearing armor that prevents status ailments. 
So yeah, even with that piece of equipment, you'll still get confused. So there's really no point in having it. It'll do you more harm than good, let's put it that way. Is this a good move to use against him? Yeah, it's okay. Okay, he's almost defeated. He doesn't even do anything! He's not even fighting! Like, he's offensive if he got the other two people... He's, if he's got the other two with him. Ah, Beast Toss and Twister! Awesome. Alright, let's take the spoils of the dash ring and a sidecap. I think that prevents you from being blind. So, let's bring Magus back in. Just to have some parting words with Ozzy. Magus! You lied when you said you wanted to create a world of evil! You used me! Oh, how dreadful. Say, can you hear that? It's the sound of the Reaper. I can't lose! What will become of my mystics? I must win! Okay, once again, you cannot target Ozzy, and you can only target one specific switch. Mwahaha! <laughs> gotcha! Mag is like, whatever. So we fall to the previous room. Okay, we'll just go back up again. Never! You will never defeat me! A cat? Uh, okay. Uh, no, no, not that switch! What was he trying to accomplish? Oh, we just finished the quest. I still wonder what that middle switch would have done. Like, under no circumstances are you able to hit that. Like, would it have done something that would have instantly killed us? Like, maybe crushing? Or created another pit? I don't know. That never gets answered. That being said, however, we finished that quest. Uh, was there anything else I was going to do in the Middle Ages? I don't think so. The uh, quest for the Rainbow Shell is going to have to wait. I think I know what it was I was going to do. I think I was going to head over to the future. So we can begin Robo's side quest. And this is not where we want to go. We actually want to go to the Genodome. Which is actually on the southeast corner of the map. And for this, you need to have Robo in your party. I think I need him in front, too. Who enters here unbidden? Oh! Welcome home, r 6 66 6 y Or should I say, Prometheus? You dare to defile this place with humans? I haven't seen them in ages. Let me... welcome them. Come closer. Huh? Well, seems legit, it could be safe. Let's see just what you can do. Okay, I think I'm gonna take this off of Robo for now. I'm gonna give him more power. Yeah, give him the hit ring. And Magus can take back the uh, silver vest. Magic defense goes up by 12! Wow. And how good is this Slasher 2, anyway? Oh, it's actually not that good at all. But Slasher increases your speed by 2, but the Slasher 2 only just is extra offense. It does nothing else for you. I don't, I don't understand why that is, but apparently it is what it is. Oh, here are some new enemies. We got the Debuggest. I believe robots are still weak against lightning, so Luminaire is a good choice. Oh, that's wonderful. Oh, 
Oh, another set of new enemies, Proto Fours. You're better off just having Chrono spam Luminaire. Because that'll really take care of these robots. You just gotta go through constant waves of enemies until you get to the end of the conveyor belt. So it will be quite lengthy had it not been for this move. Uh, you can just keep bringing in robots. I'm gonna keep spamming this move. I just know what works. Man, by this time, a uh, Robo or Magus can learn another move. Still got it. And any more? Any more? Or are we done? Ah, magic wall. Nope, we got six more. Man, thank God for Luminaire. Otherwise, we'd be taking a lot of damage. And again, good thing I put the gold stud on Chrono. This alone is making it a lifesaver. Oh good, we're still leveling up. Not bad. For humans. But can you find your way to me? Sure we can. Let's take a look at our tech status. 232 for Area Bomb. And that's not Robo's last move. He still needs to learn Shock after this. Up your Magic Defense. 294 for Dark Mist. Okay, Ayla still needs to learn Triple Kick. But that'll come in time. And the frog still needs to learn frog squash. Again, that will come in time. So, I'm going to stop the episode here. In the next part, we're going to go deeper in Genodome. Goodbye, everyone.